All right, fridge review. <laughs> Even though he's covering his fridge right now, so he's not there. <laughs> <laughs> got the upright, he's got the chest. Yep. What brand's yours? Dometic, Waco. Dometic, yours, yep. Waco. Yep. Same thing. That's it. So Same brand, yep. Well, what leader have you got? I've got a 75 litre dual zone CFX2. So it's not the zone. current, current model, yep. but. One before. Same thing. Right. Same thing. That's an 80 litre upright. It is a 70 series. You can't get bigger than an 80 litre with the K on shelf. Without yep. the K on shelf, bang a 110 in there, no problem. Yep. Cost difference. Cost difference, yeah. So. Um, I've had this fridge for five years, very briefly, I'll go into that later again in terms of review wise. Uh, cost me about 1500 bucks. Mm -hmm. um, keep in mind it's on an MSA drop side, so you've got to factor in at least another 900 give or take dollars. Mm. Um, so not a, not a cheap you're exercise. You're 24, 2500 bucks. Correct, correct, compared to what, what you around the... I paid 1600 yep. give or take. Again, the there's upright. some sale prices and whatnot. Yeah. So, so uh, I know you can get them down. Mm -hmm. I have heard people snatching them up for twelve hundred bucks. Yeah. So that's great. Show well. specials and whatnot. Yeah. Yep. Or eleven hundred in some cases. Yeah. Which is great. Which they might even be advertised. But when I bought that, it was about sixteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Um, just for price differences. Mm -hmm. So. So you're looking at let's call it a thousand dollars, give or take more. Give or take more. For my setup. Yes. Yeah. But keep in mind, that is the setup. Yep. If you don't have that MSA fridge slide, it doesn't work. Yes, your fridge is the same price, give or take. Yeah. It doesn't really work. You can't access the bloody thing. <laughs> it can. You can. People build their own slides. Yeah, people yeah, sure. put it in certain positions where they can get down to it. But yeah. we're just generalizing both on a set of drawers, yeah. both in the back of the wagon. Yep. All right, so power consumption. You first? Yeah. So basically, when I've had a look at this, bear in mind I do run another chest fridge as a freezer when I went to Fraser, as you did see on the last video. Um, yeah, longer trips. Yeah. yeah, longer trips, obviously. Totaling, I used about, it's about six amps every time they pull power, both of them. Mm. So one, I'm gonna average at three amp, two yep. amp, three amp. Yeah, so I'm the same. If I've got one, obviously it's a dual zone, if I've got one on as a, as a fridge, um, again, about 3.2 amp, give mm -hmm. or take. Mm -hmm. Uh, obviously, a freezer is going to use a bit more. Yeah, um, that's a given. Totally combined with the both on as a f as a fridge. Um, so I run them at like minus one, mm -hmm. give or take, or zero. Um, and again, around seven and a half amp, pretty consistently. Right. Um, so they're not. I don't think they chew power. No, I'd they say. they're chew. pretty. They're pretty efficient. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Um, I'm happy with it anyway. It doesn't. My system keeps up. Yours yeah, does. So. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. For power, no problem. Yep. Um, any use, moderate dual. So battery system is going to push a fridge really yep. Yep. So, yeah. ease of use Let's show them, ease right? of use ease of use instead of talking about it we'll just show I'll just you, show you. <laughs> so there's a bit more involved you done yeah <laughs> <laughs> so clearly there for the ease of use and upright no Wings. matter what you, yep. no matter what you do hands down hands, hands down, down. Yep. absolutely but in saying that, the features not so good on an upright. Mm. Um, what you get and what you don't get. Yep. So you've got he's George has got a Wi-Fi setting. Yep. Which you do again download an app on your phone, which control most, the fridge on and off. Yeah. Which most of the medic, yeah. the Wacos they got that yep. the the chest one. Yep. The yep. New one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They do. Yeah. Um, it's got that you can actually see the setting mm -hmm. of what you've set it to, like the, the perfect degree. Yep. Um, these it's just a button. So. You know, it's just a little icicle symbol, mm. and the top one's a really small blue LED. It means it's pretty cold. Uh, you know, pretty hot. Cold, yeah, hot to cold. So the biggest blue button, yeah. it's pretty cold. Yeah. There's no give or take temperature. Um, I'm sure each one actually means a temperature. Yeah. I'm not going to look that far into it. I'm just going to go the middle, which is what I read on the reviews. So some, some blokes run a probe in the fridge too. Yeah, they do to know accurately what the fridge is doing. But yeah, and it's on and off yeah. for these. That's it. Yeah. There's yeah. no. Whereas I've got the buttons. Yeah, I set what I set. Yeah, it does what it does. I know what it's doing. Yeah. Um, I've got a little USB yep. uh, in terms of features as well. Charging. Uh, for charging. Yeah. Um, He's got an emergency override use. Emergency override, yeah. yeah. It's great. There's a few, yeah. Does yours have the override? No, not no, this one. Yeah, so the chest go. does, my there chest, go. but yep. not this one. Yep. I haven't yep. found it yet. It might. Yep. 
and the back, but yeah. it's pretty ugly at the back, so I haven't yeah. really had a look. <laughs> it looks um, like a house bridge. It does look like a house bridge. <laughs> um, they both do have 240 inputs, yep. so you can yep. plug it in at home the night before you go, or yep. even just take them out and have them as a beer yeah, get them cooled down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah a lot of people do that too. Yeah. That's fine. Um, yeah, so definitely in features, this for features? offers a bit more. Oh, and the Clean fact that obviously I can use twin fridge, twin freezer, oh, fridge yeah. freezer. Yeah. And they're two different doors, yep. which we'll show. Yeah, so which we'll show as well. Clear winner for features, got to be the chest. Yep. That particular yep. chest. Yes. Yep. Um, for ease of use. Yeah. Our setups. It's got to be the uh, got to be the upright. The upright. All right, pros and cons for both fridges. Mm -hmm. We have written it all down because there was a pair a lot. of both a lot. pros and cons. Yep. Pros first. Pros of the chest. Well, pros of both. Let's do both. Both. Because this, this counts for both. Yep. Um, no ice, no esky. No esky. You've got a fridge, yep. so yep. that's a pro for both. That I is suppose. a pro. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now, for me, with a chest freezer or chest fridge freezer, obviously it's dual zone. Again, as I've said, yep. you can do whatever you want with it, which is great. Yep. Technically, that is dual zone, but mm. the freezer is yay Small. big. Yeah, which we'll yeah, show right. you as well. It is good. Yeah. So it is a fridge couple and a freezer. Holes, yeah, a few little but it's, but it's yeah. not a proper freezer. Yeah. No, I'm not going to stack meat in there for a three week trip. No, absolutely. So. Yep. Um, obviously, I've got the LCD display. Yep. Um, the Wi-Fi capability, the USB, yep. uh, and they've both got um, 240 power as well. Oh, yep. So well, that's that. Um, you? Pretty much for the upright, access. Access is a big one for me. Yep. That's a big, big pro for me. Yep. Um, the size of it doesn't take up that much space. Yeah, smaller footprint. Yeah, yeah smaller footprint, yep. basically. Yep. You know, the, the width of it's probably, I think it's about 450 mil, yep. like that way, yep. and that way is about the same, yep. maybe 300 mil by 450. You can look the specs up, don't be lazy, yeah. please. Yeah. We're not doing all the hard work for no, you. No, that's right, but for just the... We're putting in a bit of effort here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> um, again, no drop down, so I don't need to spend the extra to get another yep. a drop, a drop yep. down or yep. anything like that. Yep. Um, again, 240 to get in there. Yep. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. Yep. So the reason I got this is the vehicle is so high, my missus is so short, the, you know, for her to get anything Boy, out, Jordy. exactly, <laughs> for her to get anything out or anyone to say the truth, yeah. um, yes, you can get the drop down and it would come to, you know, yeah, there, yeah. and that's fine, but for kids, anything like that, it's, it's you have to get up, the ease of just taking up for your time, yeah, exactly, the ease of just getting in there and getting it done, yeah, it's pretty simple for yeah. me, yeah, so well, for me, well, for me, essentially, I had this set up before, so. Cost effective. Cost effective. Uh, I discussed going an upright. It was all on the cards, um, and in the end, it was just like, well, I've got everything. It works. It's proven. Yeah. I like it. Never had a problem. No. So it's good because it sort of creates a point of difference between the two wagons because yeah. they're both wagons. So it is sort of comparative. Yeah. Um, we're going to the cons now. I think. Big con, right? Big What's cons? the cons? Cons of the chest. Well, cons um, of both really is the cost. That's that's. For yeah. Me. Yeah. I'm yeah. worse off. Yeah, definitely. Like yeah. A, a cost. I mean, a con is a, a cost is going to be a con. Yeah. It's simple for any setup. But you got to remember, but it's not just the fridge you're paying for. Yeah. You got to power the damn fridge. Mm -hmm. And you know, if you run it off, so your, you need a twelve volt system. You yeah. do. Well, you can a run it off your system. off your main starter battery. Yeah, but it's going to switch off when you're. It's, it's dangerous. Off. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. It's you, if you're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't rely on it. No, and you got to be driving. It. So all the time. You know, we like to sort of park up for three, four yeah. days at a time and go, yeah, just yeah. let solar do its job. And, That's right. So And run it. So you've got the supporting cost, yeah. um, which in our case is thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. Um, big dollars. Big, yeah. You've seen in the previous videos. Yeah. You know, there is a, there is the money involved the red to R, run that sort of thing. Standard drive. It's, yeah. it's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. It's it a is. ridiculous it amount is. of money. It is. But, so that's a con for both. That's a big con. Uh, big con for me is obviously, so yes, they're like similar in price, the two units. I've got an extra nine hundred ish dollars for an MSA drop slot on top of that. Yeah. So again, huge con for me is I'm an extra nine hundred to a thousand dollars more expensive than you. Yeah. Um, which you know, take it as it comes. Like it's going to cost money for that sort of setup. That's, that's right. That's just how it is. That's right. Um, another con, a big con for not so much the Dometics. The Dometics are pretty good, and the angles mm. they're pretty good as well for the upright. They're fantastic. Yeah. But you can get the cheaper ones. I know I'm not going to name any brands, but I mm. know you can get the cheaper ones, which I did look at. But the further I looked into it, because I said there's got to be something wrong for the price I'm paying for that upright. Mm. You know, it was 600 bucks, 700 bucks. Mm. And the more I looked into it, and it was... Big price the, difference. Yeah, yeah the, these ones, the uprights, not this one. If your car's going up a gradient, whether you... You know, this is big high country, anywhere really. It's got, mm. You're going up a gradient, the compressor will switch off for safety reasons. 
of too much of a degree. Mm. I think it was it was something real small. I it was small. It was. Yeah, it was. It was a small. Where one. these, they the rating on these, you can get your car up to yeah. is the same as the chest. It's yeah. at the medic. So I don't medic. have that issue. So no. exactly, it's Again, a big con for these. Yeah. So yeah. in those other brands, so do be careful. Yeah. You know, you get what you pay for. That's yep. the saying, right? So that's continue why. on the cons. Yeah. Um, weight. So <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. 27 kilos empty, dry. Just the fridge? Just the fridge. 42 kilos for the drop slide. So combined, 69 kilos. 69 again. 69 Eight again. Yeah. She strikes again. She strikes again. So again. Heavy. Very heavy. Heavy. Uh, compared to yours. The rooftop 69 kilos. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, literally. Yours and what are you running? You're, you're a... Total? 21 kilos. Yeah, dry. Yeah, again. So you got to add food on top of that. So, yes. you know, you're going on a serious trip, meat. Frozen Me. drinks. Yeah. I mean, we're talking another what, twenty to thirty kilos maybe, maybe yeah. of weight. Uh, maybe yeah. So in my case, you're looking at hundred kilos just in there. Just in there. Yeah. So huge weight difference. So huge. again, Big you're call. the clear winner there. Yeah. Uh, in that sense. Yep. Um, items. I reckon items, items. for a chest. Yeah. How do you store the items? So you've got to stack items on top of each other. So if you need something at the bottom, you've got to pull everything at the top out mm. to get to the bottom. Thank you can be painful and it, it does annoy me it's, it annoys Shana all the time right. because she always wants something that's at the bottom right so, so if you're looking for meat it might be on the top or the bottom you've just got to pull everything goes, out something goes with that dinner it's at the bottom yep you got to pull it. everything out yeah you got to go through it you know to get to it yep whereas with you you've got it's there in front of you yeah it's, it's shelves you, yep. which is this again is your downfall now where you have yes, your downfall it is good <laughs> as a shelf yep you do have to reach behind the grab as your home fridge would yep. in your kitchen so it's not so painful mm. but one of it's i hate it one is driving you can hear it rattling Falling items too you can hear it rattling and yeah. falling yeah. yes there is brands i'm pretty sure dometic actually make it it's just a simple bar that you put in yeah. push against your stuff items. turn them put them against the edge of the fridge it'll stop it from falling but yeah. it's the rattle that you get yeah. from the shelves themselves and especially beer cans mm. or, or glass um, they just, you just hear it rattle when you're driving because it's yeah. a wagon, so yeah. you'll hear it behind you. See, um, I don't have that issue because I stack stuff. Like when it's, it's full. It's pretty solid. So it's sort of, it's solid on take, take what you will with that information, yeah. but you've got two different points of view. Yeah, but it's just when you open the fridge in these, yeah. nothing's where it was. Yep. So it's it's either fallen off or cracked, yep. unfortunately. Yep. You can fix the issue, I haven't fixed it yet. Yep. So, so, so that's, that's a big yeah. con for that's me, a big, a big yeah. con. There you go. So for winner, I'd say even. Yeah. So I'm going to say, to round it out, it's got to be the feature is the winner, is definitely the, yeah, the for chest. Features. For features. For features, you know. Yeah. The MSA, yeah, they got, the new ones have the tables, they've got, you know, the MSA create a cage over the top, mm. they got. There's endless, a lot of add-ons, yeah. yeah. Endless. You just keep stacking you know. the weight on, really, that's yeah. right. It's, yeah. <laughs> the weight kilos, just keeps coming, yeah, just, yeah, load it up. And so. this is just the fridge. Yeah. Um, but for ease and just peace of mind, just so easy to use, it's got to be the winner is the upper. Yeah. So, yeah. Take it Final it. review. Final review. What's the winner? There's no winner. I don't think there's a winner, to no. tell you the truth. I no. see the benefit in both and I see the con of both. Yeah. You know, pros and cons. So, and to me, it's, it's very even. It's a dead egg. And you can see, like, just so we spent a lot of time on that, and so very, very even very in terms even. of pros and cons. Yeah, very even. Like, where you lose a few things, yep. I pick up a few, vice versa, yeah. you know. Um, they're all hand it's pretty hand in hand it comes down to personal preference yep and what's going to work with your setup yep you know uh, i don't know that's the best way to summarize it i think like every individual setup and every individual person and the type of touring the type of camping yep. they do um is going to dictate where you're going to sort of put your money i guess yeah um, that's right that's the best way to summarise it, I think. It's 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 a personal preference. Yep. Yeah. I'm very happy with an upright. Yep. You're very happy I'm with a chest. Yeah. I know? mean, I've, like, any day of the week, I'd still take a chest, yep. and he'd still take an upright. There's yep. no difference. No, absolutely. Yeah. I'd have both. If I could have an upright, I probably would. There you go. Um, it just comes down to my setup. Money. You know. Yeah. yeah. Money too. Like, uh, yeah. Again, it, money will be a big point for a lot of people. Yeah. That's the I main mean, thing. You're looking at two and a half G's, yep. and you're looking at fifteen hundred. Um, even just that alone, sometimes. just yeah. that alone is, you know, and even cheaper again, yeah, again, for both setups. You don't have to go to this extent, you don't have to go to that extent. Yep. Um, so I think, it, again, yeah, personal preference. Yep. If it's a budget, the clear win is that. Yep. If it's yep. 
budget's not an issue and you just want a fridge that works, yep. it's your choice. Again, yeah. The dual zone Take capability, yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And we both look, and we still have this set up. We go on a longer trip. You chuck an, an extra fridge in. You chuck yep. your chest fridge in. Yep. Or freeze, fridge freezer. Yeah. I do the same. Yeah. You know, so... It just gives us that extra bit. So. Extra bit of, yeah, of um, storage. Pretty much. So, there's That's no it. clear winner. No. But it comes down to your personal... Obviously that yeah. LCD at the back. Display on minus two, and the freezer is off. Yeah, and here's the phone. Well, it's a bit glary. It's, it's, it's a bit glary. Minus two, freezer is off. That's it. Simple. And that's your freezer compartment. Again, not very big. That's it. And there is, is a lockable mechanism, which is your hand. You lock it, door won't come open. 